Oh my gosh, these light red bouncy ones are so bad. They do so much damage. And they're hard to dodge. No. Oh my goodness. So it's not too bad, the boss. Oh no, it's got a clone one. There's two of them. How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Calamity Death Mode Super Modded Let's Play. And guys, as you can see, we are deep in the underworld, and I am collecting a resource you guys all told me I need to get. Oh my gosh, dinosaurs are uh, called Bloodstone. Apparently, there's another armor set I can get before Devourer of Gods called Blood Flare Armor, and I need to fight Poltergast as well to get my hands on that. So I can collect it down here in the underworld, but I'm also going to summon the uh, Brimstone Elemental because apparently that drops it as well. So does Calamitas and I believe it's Ravager. So I thought I'd start with um, Brimstone Elemental. We'll see how we go. And my waifus are confusing me because one of my waifus looks like a Brimstone Elemental. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I need to dodge these attacks. They do a lot of damage. Happy, watch out. Watch out, Happy. Woo but uh, yeah, anyway, I was looking at uh, how much I need. I need a few hundred of this Bloodstone uh, sort of stuff. So I thought farming down here is probably going to be a nice, easy way to do it. Uh, we've almost got this boss down. There we go. Let's throw on some rage. Let's get this done. No! No, Happy, don't die! Don't die, Happy! No! No! <laughs> Stay back. Stay back, you crazy boss. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I think I almost died. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Okay, there we go. Did I kill it? Yes, beautiful. Oh! So, yeah, I think that dropped quite a bit of it then. So, I need about 200, as I mentioned. So, we'll collect all this up, and uh, then we'll get ready to fight Poltergast in the dungeon, I believe, guys. I'm pretty excited. Let's zoom ahead. Oh, my gosh. You guys are going to be so proud of me, and I'll show you why in just a moment. But we have made our way back to the dungeon, and oh, my gosh, it's a paladin. Let's take it out. Let's use our exploding guns. Oh, yes, very nice indeed. So we made our way to the dungeon, and you can buy these walls from the Clothier NPC, and basically it can patch up areas of your dungeon uh, that don't have the proper walls. So Poltergast can actually enrage. So what we're going to... Ah! It's a commando. Oh, goodness. Let's get rid of them. So what we're actually going to do... You guys are always asking me to use Vein Miner. Oh, happy spirits! Uh, so what we're going to do... I've got it. I think I've done it right. If we hit this wall... Yes! I'm Vein Mining the dungeon. woo <laughs> Yes, it's beautiful. It's glorious, people. I'm going to vein mine everything. Ooh. Oh my gosh, there's some weird hammer thing around. Ah, beautiful. So let's vein mine the ground, and then all these enemies should stop spawning. Ah, beautiful. So basically, against the Poltergast, I think I just need heaps of area to like run around and play and dance and all that good stuff. And uh, then, yeah, as I was saying, I'll patch up any areas. Get away from me, Phantom! I'll patch up any areas with this block. And that, it's called unsafe, and that'll allow the enemies to spawn. So, then there's just like the little spikes and stuff I need to get rid of. But, yeah, this should give me lots of arena to move around in and play and all that good stuff. So, that's going to be lots of fun. So, basically, I'll do this and have a bit of fun. I hope you guys are proud of me. Everyone's always asking me to use Vein Miner. And I always forget, but I remembered. I remembered for once in my life. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So I don't know how big the arena needs to be, but I'm just going to keep like vein mining anyway. And uh, yeah, and I'll leave a few areas for mobs to spawn. And I'll have to create a new spawn room as well. But anyway, let's zoom ahead and we'll fight the Poltergast. Okay, people, it is party time here, and as you can see, I have hollowed out a giant area with lots of room to run around and fight this crazy boss, and uh, I'm kind of excited. I, I haven't fought this before, and uh, I think this area should be nice and big enough to fight the boss in, so let's throw it on a Zen potion so these things, these little monsters don't disrupt me, and let's get this battle started in three, two, one, boom! Here it comes, here it comes! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! Oh, oh, is it like Plantera? I thought it was a giant worm! What? What on earth is going on here? It's like Plantera! Oh, no way! Oh, that's actually kind of cool, because I, I actually don't mind fighting Plantera, so that's kind of nice. So I'm sure it's got more phases than this. Maybe it turns into a worm later. Who knows? Or is it just like this the whole time? Oh, oh it, like, the tendril thingies are gone. Oh my gosh, okay, throwing on a heal and taking a bit of damage. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hold on to my rage 
Uh, just because I might need it for some- No! Oh my gosh, what did so much damage to me? Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh, these like red bouncy ones are so bad. They do so much damage. And they're hard to dodge. No! Oh my goodness! So it's not too bad, the boss- Oh no! It's got a clone one! There's two of them! Oh, what is this boss? I love it. Oh. Okay, it's got the ghosty thing out again. I'm going to throw rage mode on. Try and kill it. Oh, my goodness. Was I fighting the right one? Oh, I don't know which one's the clone. They look similar. Oh, I think it's the purple one. I think it's the purple one. All right, there we go. Let's get some damage in. I think ranger builds helping out a lot with this boss and the homing attacks. All right, there we go. We got that. It's down to 350,000. Oh, saying that like it's a good thing. These bosses have so much health. Ah! All right, let's just keep away from the bubbles. There's bubbles everywhere. Oh, no, it spawned the clone again. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's get up here. Beautiful. Thankfully, I think the clone is the purple one. Thankfully, that's a lot more aggressive, like it's chasing after me. So, so my homing attacks are hitting that first. There we go, beautiful. Oh, I got, um, I got, I got adrenaline. Yes, yes, let's get some hits in. Beautiful, beautiful. It's getting low, guys. It's getting low. It's down to 60,000. We got a blood moon. We needed a blood moon. Oh my gosh, come on, we got to win this. No, it's born a clone. No, cloney, no. It's not time for clones. Oh. Okay, here we go. We've got to take out the clone. Oh my gosh, it's got like 20,000 hit points. You crazy clone, just get out of the way. Oh, maybe I can just kill the normal boss. Ooh. Okay, the clone's almost down. We just gotta keep moving. Gotta keep hope alive, people. Yes, 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 go on. Come on. Yes, I think, yes, we beat it. Whoop, 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 whoop. No, it's a little spirit thingy. Ooh. I got a trophy. Yes. Oh, I got lots of stuff. I got a yo-yo. Let's go up to our safety box. Yeah, I think Ranger build was perfect for that boss. Very nice indeed. Okay, I don't need the yo-yo. Don't... Oh, I'll keep that just in case. Let's put our nice trophy there. Beautiful. And I'll keep those healing potions. And we got a treasure bag. Let's see what we got. But I need to get to that blood moon. There's an item I need from that too. Three, two, one. Boom. What do we get? Fates reveal. What's this do? Oh, there's like thingies going everywhere. Oh, we'll try this in the blood moon, guys. I got a banshee hook. Whoa. That's cool. It's like a pike weapon. And we got terror blade. So it does almost a thousand damage. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's cool. And oh no, it's not enough for the armor. I need three, seven. Ah, I need nine of them for the armor. I'm going to have to fight Poltergeist again. But uh, oh, an Ecto Heart permanently makes, yes, oh my gosh, makes adrenaline charge faster. And I got Affliction. Oh, well, look, well, look, let's not mess around. Let's get to the Blood Moon. And then I'm going to have to farm another uh, Poltergeist. Ooh. Okay, people, this is a great time to test out our new weapons. And no, there's profane things here. Oh, the aloe's getting near my base. Let's throw on a Zerg potion. And let's get these Blood Moon enemies going crazy. Oh, I love this sword, actually. This sword is insane. Oh, is that coin portals? Whoa, look at all the money. Ooh. No, no, the hello is getting to the left side of my base. Okay, let's go over here. And we need these things called blood orbs uh, that drop for them. Drop from the enemies. So this should be pretty easy though with this sword. It's destroying everything. Ooh, maybe this is what you guys meant when you said go like a um, melee build. Because, oh, sorry, turkey. Ooh, okay, there's hello this side as well. Oh, goodness, no. I'm going to have to stay near my base. Ooh, that's the only place that the normal enemies are spawning. Okay. Oh, no, boulder. Stop trying to get in my way. Ooh. So, how about this Banshee Hook? That's pretty good, too. It does go... Oh, I see. The projectiles actually stay in place. That's actually pretty nice. I wonder if that's good against, like, worm enemies and stuff. That's pretty cool, but I think my favorite is the sword. You literally just swing and everything dies. Like, woohoo! It's pretty good. Okay, oh, let's do a damage test on this. Oh, I'm over 30,000 damage. Oh, no way. Oh. Actually, we should damage this the other weapons while we're doing it. I'm getting distracted, I know. Okay, that one does about 25. And this magic thingy... I think this is more a homing attack, so... Yeah, that would probably be doing more, but... It's kind of more like area of effect. So what we need to do is I need to get a bunch of these blood orbs during the blood moon, which will help out a lot. And then I'm going to need to kill one more poltergeist quickly. But thankfully, it wasn't actually too bad. I think uh, false sense of security before Devourer of Gods, though. And then you guys were saying I need to go to the Abyss. There's like new new weapons I can get from there. So kind of excited about that. Get out of my base, you crazy mobs. Oh my gosh. No, dinosaurs, get out of here. Ooh. 
I love getting this powerful. This is nuts. I love it. Look at this. Oh, so good. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I kind of... I need the blood flare armor. And then, yeah, if, if weapons are like this... Um, these are gonna help out against Devara so much. Oh my goodness. But anyway, guys, we might zoom ahead a bit. I'll do a little montage of Poltergeist, because you guys have just seen that. And then, uh, we'll do some crafting before we head to the Abyss. Let's zoom ahead. Oh yes guys, I'm loving the damage we are dishing out at the moment, but it is time to do a bit more crafting and I've got another treasure bag, so let's get that open. Three, two, one, boom! Oh wow, I got a bunch of stuff this time. Oh we got a we got a dev set. Oh and a yo-yo. Oh goodness, but I uh, don't really need that at the moment. Yes, I'm chugging it away. I know I'm a terrible person. And uh there we go. So money's not really an issue in death mode. You get so much. I got something called a demon's flame. Whoa, that's pretty nice. I don't mind that. And uh, we got Fate's Reveal and Terror Blade again. And more of that good stuff. But the most important thing we got is the Ruinous Soul. So we should be able to... Let's put that in there. So we should be able to craft Bloodstone Cores. And I think I only need about 50 or so. Let's make 60 for good measure. Put those back in there. And then with those, we're able to craft the armor. So let's make the body armor... The, 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 what's that called? Cuses? I don't know how to say that word. Oh, anyway, it's all good. It's not often I don't know how to pronounce something. And I'm kind of liking that sword. So let's get the ranged helmet. But I'm also kind of want to make the melee one. And yes, it says I can move through liquids uh, without any problem. So that's kind of nice. So let's see what the new set bonus is. Um... Oh, it says you do uh, true strikes that heals you. That's pretty nice indeed. I think you're healing, even though it seems like it's doing... Oh no, it is doing more damage. Okay, I was like, is it doing less? Is it doing more? Let's get our ranger set on. And what does that do? Whoa, what are those things? Oh my, 60,000 damage. What on earth is that? It says I do a blood explosion thingy. Oh my gosh, and there's a Y to do a special attack. That is incredible, guys. I think I'm going to stick with Ranger for a little bit. That is that's some, that's some insane damage. Oh, goodness. But uh, anyway, well, hang on to this Tarragon armor because this turns into the Auric Tesla stuff. So I need to start saving all my armor sets. But uh, let's go to the Abyss, guys. I'm so excited. Why, hello there, Steampunker. It looks like you've respawned from your untimely demise at our base, which is always fun. Now, uh, I am excited to do a bit of hunting here in the Abyss. Now... Apparently, you guys were telling me a few monsters that I need to hunt, and one of the ones I should be looking for is those crazy maulers that were killing me at the start of our adventure. So, I brought along some Zerg potions, so let's maybe put them there, and uh, that way I can turn them off nice and easy. Oh no, it's Aquatic Scourge! No, I should be able to blast this to pieces. Yes, Aquatic Scourge, you don't stand a chance. Ah! So, we are looking for a mauler, uh, which was destroying me earlier on, but maybe if we can find one, apparently it has a weapon that I'll want to get my hands on. Nope, not deers. None of that business. Hello, Mr. Mola. <laughs> Where's the Mola fishy? Ooh, I'll just run off screen a bit and that should get another one respawning. Yep, yeah, there's deers for days, but no Maulers. They're supposed to be more common. No, there's the Mola. Come on. I want a piece of you, shark. I've got my super sword. You don't stand a chance now. <laughs> yes. Oh, no, there's more deers. Oh, my gosh. These things are so tanky. All right, let's get our sentry summon down. No. No! Alright, beautiful. Ooh, oh, yes, that new ranged attack is insane. Look at that damage. Woo yes, I dropped some shark fins. Now, apparently some of these weapons can be pretty rare. But uh, hopefully if we kill enough of these things and enough deers, we should get one. Is there more maulers? Yes. Okay, we got another mauler. Oh, goodness. All right, let's use some of our super sword. All right, beautiful. Get some nice hits in there. Take that sharky. Take that shark. No, don't, no, don't eat the happy. Oh, I can't believe how strong these are. These must have, like, really high damage reduction. 
or something like that. And it doesn't look like it wants to jump out of the water. There we go. No, nope, more shark fins. Ah! I'll have to kill some more deers. Oh, goodness. All right, let's keep going and see if we can get the weapon from it. Oh my gosh, I think that's it. It's a sulfuric acid cannon. Let's not turn off the Zerg. We'll stop spawning so many deers. And uh, I don't need Gatley Gators or any of that business. I don't really need shark fins. All right, beautiful, or presents or tokens. Uh, do I need, I might save one just in case, you never know. So we've got sulfuric acid cannon. There we go, let's see. What does this do? It blows bubbles. It blows, it blows the bubbles. Is Can I try it on something? Hello, fishies. Is that a deer? Oh, I did 800 damage. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness. Okay, we'll try it on squirrel. All right, boom. I think it apparently they stick to enemies and do, like, damage over time, maybe? Or something like that? Who knows? But uh, what we need to do is go a bit deeper into the abyss. So let's start to make our way down. And oops, I forgot to put on my... Uh, Diving gear. I might swap it for my Drayden's heart. Whoa, there we go. We are dropping fast people Another thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change my light level Ah, there we go So you guys can actually see a bit better and I know the abyss is supposed to be dark But you know the youtuber side of me wants you guys to see what's going on. I want to see what's going on So yeah, so th this looks pretty good plus this gets the bonus from my ranged armor as well, which is kind of nice so I think the other weapons are a lot lower down. No, hang on, hang on. That's a strong fishy, the ore fish. No, it's a reaper shark. Woo okay, let's use our new bubble cannon against it. It's like giving it like a toxic attack. Oh, that's pretty good. No, it's going like, it, it's, I was going to say, I don't know what I'm saying. It's going something. It like went invisible for a second. Hang on. Did it drop a weapon? It dropped... It dropped a reaper tooth. You guys said I need that. Oh, if I use Rod of Discord, I'll summon that fish. Yeah, there it is. The Adalim Worm. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Okay, let's... No, 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 no! It instantly killed me still. Oh, there's a shark. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. I wonder if I can summon the Adalim Worm further up. Like, if I teleport here. Yeah! So, I've only just dropped into the Abyss. And I summoned it up here. I think... I think the head... The head is, like, instant kill or something like that. But it looks like... It looks like the body... No! The lightning! It's like a one-hit kill! Oh, I don't know if I can kill this. Yes, I made it come up onto the surface. I am the smartest in the world. No! Why? Am I getting confused or something? No, I can't move! Ah! Oh, bubbles for you! Oh, you crazy squid! Okay, where's it? No! No! It jumped onto me! I can't! Get off, squid! Get off me! Ah! I can't! No, I'm stuck! Oh, I don't, I don't think it can know it's squid! Oh, yes, I killed it! Oh, there's the weapon! Yes, Calamari's Lament! Yes! Ooh, there's a squiddy weapon! Nope, 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 nope! What's that? A gulper eel! Oh, I died! Okay, I think I got some nice attacks on it! Okay, we got the squiddy weapon! The Calamari's Lament! Okay, now we have our own squiddy! Very nice! And uh, I was looking at those Reaper 2 things! They make a, a necklace that gives you 100 armor penetration! Like, that is it. No, Squid! I think that's what I need to fight the Odilon Worm. So, I might try and get another Reaper Shark. And that should help me beat the Odilon Worms, perhaps. So, we'll get rid of Squiddy. I don't need Squids anymore. Ah, I got another one of the weapons. Oh my gosh! I found one! It's the Baby Worm. Okay, beautiful. Let's use Bubbles on it. Bubble attack. It's doing the icy thing. No! No, there's, there's fishies everywhere! Ah! What's going on? I'm being thrown around. <gasps> okay, I think we've almost killed it. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. <gasps> it dropped a... Is that a sword? A soul edge. Whoa, what is that? A soul edge. Whoa! It like fires thingies. <gasps> That's cool. Oh my gosh. It's like hitting the eel with stars. Whoa! <laughs> that thing is a giant. All right, let's put it there. Beautiful. Okay, so now I have like this... Oh, check it out. It's like phantom weapon. That's nice. Oh, there's a reaper shark. Nice. So I need to kill some more of these. Beautiful. Let's get that. Get some attacks in. Get some swords. Get some of these new swords. Whoa, there's so many weapons to get. I love this. Okay, let's use our, our nice ranger attacks. And uh, we're doing some nice damage. I need three more of the reaper thingies. And I think that reaper shark drops a weapon as well. So uh, what I might do is I might go craft that reaper necklace thing and then we'll come back and get some more. Oh my gosh, hunting in the abyss is so much fun. Like you die really easy. Sorry, bunny. But <laughs> 2,000 damage on the bunny. Oh, bunny, no. But uh, anyway, so I need 15 of this stuff. I need 15 of the depth cells and then just five of that Tenebra stuff. There we go. And you make it at a mithril anvil there. So, oh, there it is. 
So 100 pen armor penetration and 25% more damage. It does make me weaker to damage though. So anyway, let's equip it there. And uh, yeah, we've got our nice mushroom squiddy thing. A mushroom squid. So I need to get the Reaper Shark. You guys said there's a really good weapon on that. And we'll try and kill in the dialing worm. Maybe. <laughs> Okay, guys, I think we nearly got every weapon plus the Valediction, which was highly uh, recommended from a lot of you guys. So we've got all that. There's only one weapon I think we need to get, and it's from the Adult Adylum Worm, and it's uh, called the Halibut Cannon or something like that. So I'm going to use Rod of Discord, and then we're going to try and fly away from it and get back to the surface. Yep, we can do this. Come on, come on, get to the surface, Happy. Get to the surface. No! So I don't know, can I actually kill this or doesn't it take much damage? I don't know. I think it's got like 3,000 defense. So I don't know how I'm supposed to kill this thing. I mean, I don't know. Is the Halibut Cannon worth it? Or is this just like, no, I'm dead again. Oh, Dylan Worm, no! Yep, nice, nice. I can only do like one damage a hit to that silly big worm. Oh, so guys, let me know in the comments, is the Halibut Cannon worth it? Or do I pretty much have everything I need? I've got the Valediction, I've got the Soul Edge. We even got that uh, Idolic Whale thing uh, from from the Juvenile uh, Idolum Worm. So, I don't know. I, I think I'm pretty much ready for Devourer of Gods. So let me know in the comments if we're ready. Uh, we will wrap that up there for today, though, guys. Smash the like button if you're enjoying our Dante adventure. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And here's the most important part, as always. You all stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya!